Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing look four of the James Charles and Morphe palette tutorial series. So excited. Um, it's going to be a really good one. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, as well as additional videos here and there. And yeah, let um, once we get to 250 subscribers, we're doing a giveaway. And I feel like... That was awfully fast. I just want to make sure I hit all my points. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Already primed my eyes with MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. And we're going to go ahead and use the James Charles palette. I'm so pumped about this. So we're going to be using the greens and the yellows. And we're going to make it very, very fun. So I'm going to take this Morphe brush right here. This came in like a set. They were rose gold brushes. I don't remember exactly, but I'm going to take this yellow one right here. That is a yellow. Let's just say that. So I'm just going to apply this in my crease. It's not really showing up much, but I also do have very fair skin. So maybe that's why... Or I do remember when I swatched this that it really did not swatch well either. It's okay. It happens. I also have the whole series in a playlist. You know, I'm adding to them as I go. Read the description box because I do, you know, post all of my makeup, videos mentioned, my social media links, like... You know, the whole nine yards. Okay. Wow. I'm not really like a fan of yellow eyeshadow. I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about this right now just because I don't like yellow eyeshadow that much, if I'm being honest. So I'm going to take this crease brush. This one is from Alamar Cosmetics. So I'm going to go right into... This kind of like more spring green color right here and I'm gonna create like an ombre look so we got the yellow now it's the light green and now the deeper green there's not really a lot of like greens in this palette but this also isn't marketed as a green palette so I did my last video you know I did that all on the blues so like I said there's not a lot a ton of blues in here but it's also not marketed as a blue palette so that's also something to keep in mind but you know, there are going to be people out there that say, well, he says this palette is marketed for, you know, everybody, blah, 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 blah. And this is the only palette you'll need. And you know what? For some people, they may need extra. And that's okay. I will need to add more yellow when it comes back around. But I have done a few green looks. I did one with the Huda Beauty Emerald palette. I do have that palette out today just in case... I need or want it. I'll have that Huda video linked down below. I'm gonna take this Luxie mini tapered brush. It's just like a smaller crease brush. I'm gonna try it with the Alamar brush first. Wow, that kicked up a lot of fallout. A kickback on the palette. But I'm gonna go to the deeper green, kind of like your typical green. I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna do that even lower. And I'm going to be messy with it because it really doesn't matter if you get it on the lid. We're focusing on the ombre look of it. I'm going to go back into the lighter green shade. Get a little more. I have a feeling that I will need to dig into... The Huda Beauty palette just a bit, um, but that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna go back into the yellow and get up a little higher. It's just an interesting color combination, in my opinion. I'm gonna go into the white color like I always do, and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone. This is a really nice color in the palette where it's not like too bright, but it's just bright enough. 
Next, I think I'm going to line my lower lash line. This is a Luxie brush. It's the Flat Definer. Um, I have seen people use these for their brows or this being marketed as like a brow product. I never thought about doing it with just like a straight flat brush, but I mean it is. I can see it now. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to take the deepest green right here. And I'm going to line my lower lash line with it. I don't want to blend this one out too much just because I hate when it's super blended out and it's like oh my gosh like that almost covers your whole under eye and I just I don't like that too much but I also don't want to look like we're in 2008 you know being Avril Lavigne so I'm going to be taking this shade right here that's like a nice olive army green almost and I'm going to apply this all over my lid this is a very interesting look in my opinion um, I'm gonna go ooh. I really want to keep this green you know I don't want to add any browns up here too much but I am gonna take the champagne color right here it's one of the larger pans. So color is all right. I just, I don't know. It just, it doesn't, it's not really super reflective. It's almost like hard. It's kind of, I, in my opinion, it's almost hard to use. I'm going to use this with my right hand now. I'm just kind of putting this on my inner corner, but just to lighten it up, just so it's not super dark, because I do like to keep it, you know, very light in the inner part of my eye. So I'm going to take this brush. This is another Luxie brush. Luxie is in a ton of boxy charms, so um, I do unbox box charm every month, so I'll link that down below for you. But I'm going to go into this one right here. This one has a little bit of a shimmer, but it's a little lighter than the champagne color, but it's not a white. I'm just going to put this on the inner part of my eye. Trying to think, I don't think I need anything from this look, so I may be good. <laughs> um, I do have something from Stila that I really want to use. I use these, I think I've used them in every video so far, but I think they're really fun and they really like brighten up a look. This is the Little White Lies Liquid Shadow from Stila in the shade Mint Myth. So, this one it looks white, but it has different color undertones in it. So this one kind of has like a mint green undertone. And we are just going to add just a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, that is fun. I don't think I'm going to add any to the lower lash line today. But I think you can find these at like TJ Maxx or something like that. But I do know that they were discounted over the summer at Ulta. So I don't think you're going to be able to get them at Ulta, unfortunately. But I think TJ Maxx and Marshalls have these. I'm going to go in with my ColourPop liquid liner. This is just the black one. And I do want to work, do a wing. I am working on them. So if that doesn't, don't look perfect, don't give me hate. But I am going to do a little bit of a wing. I feel like that oh I don't know how I feel about it I don't know I just feel like it should be almost a little higher I tell you guys I'm working on my wing yeah okay I like that side better just because I, I don't know I'm just trying different ways of doing it I would someday love to master a wing I just feel like this is too long. <laughs> I look weird now. But I mean, I feel like makeup is all about experimenting and trying new things. Now, some of you might really like this this shape of wing. Some of you might like the smaller. I like the smaller. Um, but again, like, don't hate on me. You know, I'm just, I'm trying new things and that is totally okay. I do know, I just, I like to experiment with different application pro like ways too. So like here I did my lash line first. Here I just kind of did the wing and I kind of just 
brought it in and I think I'm gonna stick with that way go in with the Too Faced damn girl mascara and we're just gonna apply that on our lashes did a whole comparison video between the better than sex and the damn girl and I will link that down below for you it's actually really like interesting because they're not too different so this one it just this has so much product coming off of it still like you can see that but like oh my gosh like I have to like wipe it off it's not good I also just feel like this mascara is overall because I made that like two months ago this is that video like two months ago and I just feel like it's overall like more clumpy so not a huge fan of that but it's not like a big deal oh my gosh okay we are gonna use a brand that i don't really use on this channel very much and it's kat von d so i have a mini of her everlasting liquid lipstick this is in the shade ludwig and i'm just going to apply that to my lips and not expired yet and I don't want it to go to waste. It has kind of like a weird taste to it. Like it doesn't have that vanilla scent that every, every other lipstick has. Um, this is the Morphe lip gloss in the shade Beach Goals. It's just like a champagne shimmery metallic gloss. I'm just going to let this set just a second here. Started. Morphe lip glosses are something that like not a lot of people talk about, but it's re they're really nice. So I do have some fall under my eyes. Pretty normal though, um, besides the ridiculous wing. I think that this was pretty much a success. So um, if you haven't already, subscribe. I think this went really well and yeah. So if you have any questions or let me know your favorite look with the James Charles palette. So. Yeah, that is all. Oh my gosh, I have to like clean off my hand. I have this like, I'm playing around with makeup today and trying to wipe off all my swatches on here. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.